everybody. Good evening. I know it's kind of late on a Saturday night, but we just wanted to touch base with everyone um, with some breaking news with Charleston Animal Society. All our prayers are with everyone who is um, in the path of Hurricane Ida. We are, you know, we are in our thoughts and prayers, but um, we have some relief coming. We have a team that is heading that way. And uh, we're going to go live right now with Bryant Taylor and Patrick from our team who are heading to towards the storm. Everybody else is going away from the storm, but Bryant, what are, you know, how's it going? What's going on today? Hi there. So um, we deployed uh, earlier this afternoon down to the, the Gulf to help relieve some partners down there who the shelters are unfortunately are full at the wrong time. So we are going down to help them get as many animals as we can out of harm's way and bring them to our other partners along uh, Florida, which thankfully um, should not be affected by Hurricane Ida. So we're going down to pull some animals, as many as we can, and get them to our, our, part, our Florida partners. So the storm is um, currently um, on its path to Louisiana and um, you know, our, our prayers are for those people that are in its path. Um, so where are you right now, Brian? And, um, you know, why is this mission so important to the animal? Yeah, so we are currently driving on our way through the Panhandle, Panhandle of Florida, going towards Mississippi and Louisiana. Um, it's important to, again, help other partners that happen to be in these paths of hurricanes. Again, just like Charleston Animal Society, we are a coastal community um, with a huge pet population and we would like our partners again if the shelter if the storm was coming our way we would hope somebody would be there for us so we're going to to pay that forward and again be there for our partners who happen to be in the path of this storm so thankfully we were able to provide transport today for some animals out of the way and that's what we're going to do well that's awesome you know we here in south carolina of course you're aware but just to let uh, everyone who's watching know you know we're in a pretty bad situation here in south carolina um uh, all the shelters are suffering. They're all packed with animals, but, you know, we're still going to be doing our part to help to um, rescue these animals, get them out of harm's way, and take them to our partner shelters throughout um, the southeast uh, that in Florida and other areas where they'll be out of harm's way. Um, and these are animals that uh, you're picking up that have already been in the shelter. From what I understand, you know, this is like going to be the last animals to get out of um, where you're going. Yes. So, again, this uh, there are lots of shelters that are in the path of Hurricane Ida, unfortunately. And, again, everybody along the Gulf Coast put out um, calls for help. Um, so, again, lots of organizations have gotten come to together and providing help where they can and this particular organization um, called out to us and again they were grateful for any help that we could provide and we said we were able to provide transport to help move some animals for them so that's what we're going down to do. Do you, do you have any idea Brian how many animals um, are going to be picked up and then distributed to other safe locations? We are going to go down to pick up about 50 dogs, um, so right. 50 large dogs we have the space for we loaded up our trailer this afternoon and put enough carriers and we're bringing food as well so we were bringing some shelter um, food for the animals down there um, that aren't that aren't able to stay so that that community has food to uh, again for the coming days um, from our donation so we're, we're going down to bring food and take about 50 dogs back with us to partner shelters across the state of florida that's that's awesome well Brian, I am um, so proud of our team and so grateful that you are, um, you know, on the road at this time of night. And I wish you safe travels. And I just want you to know um, that we're all uh, thinking about you and, of course, all the people in Louisiana um, and throughout the Gulf that are um, in path of Hurricane Ida. We just we want you all to know that um, we're going to do everything we can, even though South Carolina is in a state of emergency itself with the amount of animals in our shelters. We are going to go above and beyond, as we always do, to help um, to help our sister shelters and to help animals to get out of harm's way. Thank you, Bryant, and thank you, Patrick. Uh, can you put the camera over to Patrick as he's driving? I'd love to kind of get a shot of Pat. There he is. So uh, just so everybody knows that Bryant is not driving in our, our live. 
no, 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 no. I am, I am the relief driver. I, I will be taking the night shift. So. so you're going straight up. You expect to get where you're going about midnight. Hopefully that we should get there sooner than that. We're going to get there around like 10 30 or 11. We hope to be loaded up and uh, on the way back to Florida um, shortly after midnight. Wow. Thank you guys. Thank you for your strong bodies and your, your minds that you're able to do this because I can't imagine. And uh, we're, we're so grateful to our, our team and uh, to everybody who's helping those shelters along the way that are going to help to take these animals. Yes, yes. We thank you so much. We are so we couldn't do this without our partnerships um, across the southeast region. So we're thankful for all the shelters that are stepping up to help make this possible. And we're just so grateful to be able to help these animals get out of harm's way and help this shelter that is literally uh, miles away from the Gulf Coast. So they really need this this effort, this help right now. So we're glad they, to be. Here. They really do, and we can't. We also can't do it without donations. Um, Donations are critical to our mission, not only um, to help save animals' lives here in Charleston, throughout our state, with our No Kill South Carolina 2024 initiative, as well as being able to do outreach like you're doing tonight uh, to help shelters uh, to get animals out of harm's way. And we know they will help us um, when we put the call out for help. So uh, it's just a win-win all the way around for the animals. Exactly, yes. Well, thanks, Brian. Y'all, safe travels to you and Patrick. And and um, we are definitely have all the shelters, all the people that are in harm's way um, in Hurricane Ida's path. Uh, just know that we are thinking about you all, and uh, we hope you have a safe, safe uh, journey.